All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add your students to the NBGrader database. Right now, uh, in this fourth video, FormGrader is already set up, but if you go to Manage Students, what you'll see is none of the students from my class are imported to the course, except for this one person who is uh, me, the current user of NBGrader. <clears throat> So uh, so the way we're going to do this is start off by going to My Courses and I um, need to pick my course. Uh, in, in my, even though I've got multiple sections, I am going to uh, just download the entire um, gradebook for all students from all sections because in my Jupyter Hub, uh, I don't have to worry about um, keeping track of the individual sections. All right, so uh, here I've gone to the grades, enter grades, and I want to export. And I want to export organization defined ID. Uh, how about I'll just pick both just so I make sure I have all the information. Um, I don't need grades, but I would like to have first name, last name, email, and uh, let's export this to CSV. All right, I download that. All right, so I've opened up the spreadsheet. It's similar to the form we need, but not exactly. Um, so there's a couple things I can do immediately. I can remove the end of line. I don't need that. Uh, likewise, I don't need this organizational ID, so I'm going to remove that. Um, and then uh, the column names that are desired for um, the CSV are as follows. So you don't need all of these, but I'm going to use all of them because you can input all of them. Uh, so the first one, username, is going to be ID, but note that all of these start with a pound sign. I'm going to need to remove that pound sign. Uh, and then what we've got is last name, so under, so last underscore name, uh, first underscore name, and then email, and uh, lowercase for first name and last name. Uh, all right, so then this is basically ready to go other than the fact we have to remove this initial pound sign. There's a few ways to do it. I did a quick uh, Google search on how to remove a character and um, you can use the command write, and I'm going to remove it from cell A2, and I'm going to use the length command, and basically what it's going to do is it's going to pull all the characters on the right side other than the first character, so in this string. So it's a string manipulation. Uh, let's see what it does. Okay, there we have it. It gave us the username without the pound sign. And now I just need to copy that down. And now I'm going to uh, replace column A with the actual values. All right, and now I can delete column E. And so now I've got it. So this is my set of IDs, first names, last names for all 46 students who are registered in the class. And uh, right, there we are. All right, so now that the gradebook has been exported and appropriately modified into a format so that you can upload it, now what I do is I go to my Fizz225 directory. This is my uh, nbgrader directory that has all the course files, and I want to upload. And so I need to go to um, this uh, um, directory where I saved the course roster upload, the CSV file, and uh, I need to hit this upload button to actually upload it. So now it's uploaded in there, and the next step is pretty simple. We go to the terminal. I'm going to change my current directory, and now I'm in the directory where that course roster upload is. So now I can run the nbgrader command, nbgrader 
db for database and we are looking to do a student import and then I got to put the file name in here so that is fizz225 course roster upload csv and I use tab for autocomplete so then I do that uh, creating uploading and then I go back to form grader now I look at manage students and now that is my entire class and uh, so I have this one assignment kind of already pre-populated this demo assignment so I'll need to go in and delete that so it doesn't uh, reflect on the student score um, but yeah so that's how you go about getting students in to the NB Grader database. Uh, and at this point, you know, everything will be nicely synced. So anytime there's an assignment and they fetch and create, you know, their names and their student ID, it's all going to match up uh, so that you can exchange files very easily. So I hope that helps.